Hello everybody, welcome to GST Zen. In this video, I'll show you a live demo of preparing an e-invoice from GST Zen's billing application. GST Zen supports e-invoicing with a lot of integrators such as an Excel connector where you can import your data from Excel. If you have a custom ERP or database, GST Zen will fetch data directly from the database. We also support the popular ERPs such as Tally, SAP, Oracle and Microsoft. In this demo, I will show you how to prepare an e-invoice using GST Zen's billing application. Before getting started, visit the website einv-apisandbox.nic.in. This is a website run by the NIC where you can register your GST number and obtain credentials that you will be using to make e-invoices. Let's get to the demo. During the demo, we'll add a GST number in GST Zen. We'll add a product master and we'll then create an e-invoice. We'll also see how it will be to create another e-invoice. There we are. So this is the home page of the GST Zen application. Let's first add the GST number. Once you type the GST number, the name will get filled automatically. I'm choosing the regular taxpayer and adding the GST number. Here is the home page of the GST number. Before preparing an invoice, the first thing that we would have to do is to have a product code ready. So let's go ahead and create a few product codes. I'm giving the code itself as PRD1 and let's give the name as laptop. The Edison code you can autofill. So I will type here 84713010 and DST Zen will fetch the data from the list of allowed HSN codes in the master database. Let me give unit as NOS. Unit rate is optional, we can leave it blank. The supply type is whether it's an exempt supply, a non-GST supply or nil rated supply, we'll leave that blank as well. And let's give the rate as, let's say, 18%. Now we have added one product code and here are the details. Let's go ahead, go ahead and add another product code as well. So let's call it PRD2. Give it a name as laptop cover and give the HSN code 4202. Let's give the unit again as numbers and the GST rate, let's make it 12%. So we have added another product code. We'll allowed also add a product code for a service. So let me call it SRV1 and call it laptop maintenance AMC and the HSN code for this will be 998713 and the GST rate will be 18%. There is no unit so we can give others as the unit. Yeah. So now we have added a few product codes which we can use for creating invoices. Let's now go back to the page for the GST number. Let's go to the sales invoices. This is the list of sales invoices. We'll see that there are no invoices here. Let's go ahead and add a new sales invoice. So this is a B2B invoice. So the supplier is GST Zen, our company. So let's go, there are no recipients yet. Let's simply type the GST number and add a new recipient. And I, as I type the GST number, GST Zen will validate it and then fetch the data from the government portal's database. Just a second. There seems to be an error, so let me just correct it. Yeah, so there you go. So it caught errors as well, and so we got the GST number here, and uh, it also set the invoice number to one let me give today's invoice date 
So all details below this are optional. I'll just show them what they are. So this is the type of invoice, whether it's a regular or a CC invoice. The place of supply will be the place of the state of the customer. If you want to change it, you can do it, but otherwise uh, you don't have to touch that. You can give purchase order details, such as the number and date if necessary. There are other optional details here. I'll leave them, I'll leave them untouched for now. And so I'll save the invoice. Now you are supposed to enter the line items. So let's go to our product thing, uh, product master and choose the laptop. Let's say it's a Dell laptop. One and give some rate of 30,000 rupees. Let's add another entry, which is a product cover. The description itself is optional and let's just give the unit rate of 1000 rupees, right? So now I have saved the invoice. The invoice has the line items here. The invoice is made to Veno and Vinay. Here is the amount and other details. We can also review the PDF of the invoice. Here is the invoice with the line item details. We are now ready to generate an e-invoice. When you click, click here to generate e-invoice, GST send will go to the government portal and register the e-invoice. Before doing so, you will have to give certain credentials. This, since this is the first time we are doing this activity. So let me go ahead and type the username, password, there is also a client ID. Let me give the client ID. And then let me give the client secret key, which is a 15 digit secret key. Once you enter all this, you'll already have logged into the e-invoice portal. In addition, you'll also see that an e-invoice has been generated. Here is the IRN number, here is the acknowledgement date and number. In fact, now if you download the PDF, you will see the PDF has the IRN number in it and there's a QR code, right? So this is what it takes to create an e-invoice in GSTZ. Let, let's go ahead and create another e-invoice just to understand what the process is. So now I give new B2B sales invoice. You will see that the invoice number is already provided. Let's make it to a different provider. Let me type the GST number here. GST number, GST Zen will first validate the GST number. There seems to be an issue in what I've typed. Give me just a second. So then I got, got the GST number correct, and this is of HDFC Bank. So now you will already notice the you how useful the software is. In, I was making typos and the software caught them for me and after I typed the correct GST number, the software went to the portal and got all the details. So and the invoice number is automatically here as invoice number two and let's enter the invoice date and we'll save the invoice, we'll enter the line items. That will be, let's say it's a service. Let me enter the description as 12 months service and put the quantity as 12 and let's say the unit rate is 1000 rupees a month. So you will see the invoice for 12,000 rupees with appropriate taxes. So now generating invoice is very simple. You simply click this button. This time there is no need to even enter any username or password. GSTZEN will go to the e-invoice portal and you'll see the e-invoice is automatically generated. That brings me to the end of this video. Take a look at it. Try using GST Send for your e-invoicing needs. You can reach us on the web at www.gstzen.in or you can email us or call us or reach us on Twitter on and YouTube. Thank you for watching this video.